Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make Beaker from the Muppets. I am going to make him exactly the way you see here. And to let you know, the skin tone bands that I'll be using are the lightest color from the Rainbow Loom Skin Tone Package. So you can pick any color that you'd like to use for his face and his hands. If I didn't just say there's about 41 bands. The brown, I'll be using the burgundy brown. For his shoes, there are about 10 bands. The black that I'll be using, there are about 15 bands. The white, you'll need about 82. For his collar and the ends of his sleeves, for his shirt, I'll be using teal green. You could pick the color that you'd like to use. You'll need about six bands. The red, about five, and the orange, you'll need about 27. I am going to use one loom, and our loom is gonna be in its original position with the arrows facing down. You are going to need a toothpick or an extra holding hook to hold the legs. I'm gonna get started. The first thing that we're going to do is his arms. And we are going to do both of them together. I'm going to do the first one on the right and then the second one on the left and then we're going to loop. So to start this you're going to take double white bands and we're going to go down the loom five times. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to repeat that on the left so we can make them together. Double white bands go down five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Now grab your hook and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick a single band for his shirt color. So I'll be using the teal green. So you want to take your hook and a single band. So I'll be using this teal. Wrap it around four times. One, two, three, and four. So you have four loops around your hook. Push it up. And now you're going to take a single white and wrap this around your hook three times. One, two, and three. Now take double white bands and we're going to slide these bands onto this. So attach to your hook, support with your finger. You wanna pinch the white, pinch the green, slide on. And now we're going to attach this to the loom so that the shirt color is facing the bottom. Going to repeat the same thing for the left side. So your shirt color, wrap it around four times. One, two, three, and four. So you have four loops. Take a single white and wrap it around three times. One, two, and three. Grabbing double white, attach to your hook, support with your finger, and pinch the bands to slide on and then attach to your loom. So I'm going to do this on the left. Now you want to take your skin color so you can see the difference between my skin and the white. You want to take double white bands and go down once on the right and let's do the same thing on the left. Double skin color for his hands. Now take a single band and we're going to cap the end three times. One, two, and three. I'm going to repeat on the left, single skin tone color band, go around three times. One, two, and three. Now we're ready to loop up. So the first thing that we're going to do is grab your hook. You want to take a single white band and wrap this around three times. One, two, and three. So you have three loops. Now I'm going to loop up on the right side first. And when I get to this band with our shirt color and this extra looped white, I'm going to slide this band on. So starting at the bottom, move your cap bands out of the way and go up once. Now grab your double white bands, lift up, 
slide your band on, and then make your teardrop. And just continue looping to the top. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the left. So grabbing a single white, you want to wrap it around three times. One, two, and three. Reach in at the bottom, moving the cap band out of the way, grabbing your bottom two skin tone color bands and go up once. Grabbing your double white, lift up, slide the band on, and then make that teardrop. Now go to the top. I'm going to remove off the loom and I, this is going to be my holding hook. So you can use anything from a toothpick to a skewer um, to a chopstick. I like how Kate Schultz says that. And um, you can use anything. If you have an extra loom, you can place it on there. And I'm going to put this to the side. This is going to look funny for you with this extra band here for the shirt. I will show you at the end how to fix that. So just put that to the side. Now we're going to do his legs. I'm going to do both with you and I'm going to do one on the right and one on the left. The first thing you want to do is grab your hook and a single black band. You want to wrap this around your hook three times. One, two, and three. You're going to slide this on double black bands, attach, support, and slide. And attach to the loom. I'm going to go on the right first, and I'm going to do the same thing on the left. So with your hook, a black single band, wrap around three times. One, two, and three. Grabbing double black bands, attach, support, and slide. He's going to go on the left side for his other leg. Now we're going to grab a single red and you're going to wrap this around your hook three, uh, sorry, four times. Go around four times. One, two, three, and four. So you have four loops. Grabbing double white bands, attach, support, pinch, and slide. And I'm going to go down twice on the right doing the same thing. So we're going to do this one more time. Single red, wrap it around four times. One, two, three, and four. We're going to slide this on double white bands. And attach to the loom. I'm going to do the same thing on the left going down twice. Single red, go around four times. One, two, three, and four. So you have four loops. We're going to slide this on double white bands and attach to the loom on the left. One more time. Single red, go around four times. One, two, three, and four. Grabbing double white attach, support, and slide, and attach to the loom. Now you can put your hook down and we're going to grab three of the brown bands and we're going to go down on the right once. Let's do the same thing on the left, three bands just to make his shoe a little bit thicker. Now grabbing three white bands, we're gonna go down once on the right and we're gonna do the same thing on the left, three bands. Now we're done with this area, so we're gonna cap the ends. We're gonna use two bands, one at a time, and we're gonna go around three times. One, two, and three, 
grabbing another one, we're going to do the same thing on the same side at the end on the right. Push your bands down. One, two, and three. Let's repeat that on the left. Single brown band. Cap the end three times. One, two, three. Push down. One more time. One, two, and three. We're all done and we're ready to loop up. So grab your hook. And if you notice that your bands are really twisted in the cap area and you just want a nice clean finish, you could take your hook and just slide it around just so they're not twisted, they're not on top of each other and it will be a cleaner finish at the end. I'm going to loop up and when I get to the black, I'm gonna take a single black and wrap this around my hook three times. So reach in, moving the brown cap bands out of the way, grabbing your bottom three. You might want to hold your brown cap bands down. Go up. We're not attaching another single red at this point, because I'm going to show you how to bring those bands to the opposite side of the leg when we're done. Stop at the black. Grab a single black and wrap this around your hook three times. One, two, and three. So you have three loops. Reach in, grab the black bands, and you want to slide this band on before making that teardrop. Let's repeat on the left. Again, you can move the bands around just to make it a cleaner finish. Pull them back and grab your bottom three white bands and go forward the brown and stop at the black. Grabbing a single black, you want to wrap this around three times. One, two, and three. Reach in, grab the black bands, slide the band on and go forward. Now because I put the arms here, you could remove these arms or I'm just going to push them up and I'm going to put the legs on. Remove the legs and you can put this to the side. Now I'm going to start doing his face and to do this we're going to start with the hair. So for his hair I'm going to use orange and double bands and I'm going to go from the left up to the center and then center down to the right. I'm going to go down once on the right, once on the middle, and once on the left using double bands. One, two, and then, sorry, one going down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the hair part that yes, after we will cut. To do this, I'm just going to turn my loom around and I'm going to use the bottom part of my loom. I'm going to take a single orange band and I'm going to go right across at the bottom of my loom. Now we're going to use 12 bands, 12 single bands, and we're going to do slip knots all around the single band. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take six bands and attach it to this end and then I'm just going to turn this around and do six bands on here. Just because I don't want slip knots at the ends just to make it easier to attach to the loom after. So I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a single, go through the bottom, grab one end, grab both ends, and then just do a slip knot. I'm going to hold and I'm going to pull. And we're going to do this with six bands. One, two, three, using my fingers to pull, just tightens a little bit better. Four, Five and 
and six. So I have six bands on this one side. So I'm just going to slide this around and bring them to the inside part of the loom. Now I'm going to grab six more bands, one at a time, and do slip knots again on this side. You can see that I'm pulling away from the loom. I just find it a little bit easier. Now what you're going to do, you're going to remove this off the loom, so I'm just going to grab the ends here and I'm going to remove. As I'm taking it off, you can see how I'm taking it off, I'm going to place this on my loom, let's get back into the camera here, and I'm just going to go, so I'm still holding it, I'm just going to turn it and go upside down, and I'm going to attach this to the second pegs, or sorry, the first pegs on the left, and bring it to the right. You can push down. So we're going to continue now with the face. So for his face, I'm going to use the skin color, the lightest one. I'm going to use double bands, and I'm going to go down on the right four times. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to repeat this on the left. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to go down twice in the middle with double bands, the skin color, I'm just going to move the orange single pieces out of the way and go down. One and two. One and two. I'm just going to fix my bands, they're a bit twisted. Now you're going to take a single red and you're going to go down once in the center. Take a single black and just go on top of the red. Now with the skin color, you're going to go down twice. Double bands, one and two. Now with our white bands, we are going to go down using double bands on the right all the way to the end, on the left all the way to the end, so go down one. I was going to say go down in the middle two to the end, but we're going to start off in the middle with black. So just go down on the right all the way to the end. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Repeat on the left, go down seven times using double white. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now grabbing we're going to grab double black bands. We're going to go down once in the center. And now you're going to continue going down the middle using double white. One, two, three, 
four and five. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take section by section and show you what to do. So I'm going to do holding bands, eyes, holding bands, nose, continue going down the loom. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a single skin tone band and I'm going to make a triangle as a holding band on the second pegs going down. But I'm going to double this, double, and make sure you don't catch any of the hair as you're making this triangle. Push the bands down and now we're going to make his eyes. To do his eyes you're going to grab your hook. You're going to grab a single black band and you're going to wrap this around your hook four times. I'm going to do the eyes a little bit differently than what I usually do. So go around four times. One, two, three, and four. You're going to take a single white band and you're going to go around twice on either side. One, two, one, and two. Now grabbing a single white band, we are going to double this, attach to our hook, support with our finger, and we are going to pinch the eye band and slide it on grabbing both ends and I'm just going to fix straighten out the loops here push this up on your hook and we're gonna do another one single black wrap it around four times one two three and four grabbing a single white you're going to go around twice on either side one two one and two. Grabbing a single white, we're going to double this, attach to the hook, support, and pinch the eye band and slide it on. Grabbing both ends, now grab a single skin tone color band for his face attach and you want to just slide the eye bands on and you're going to attach on the second pegs going down on the left to the right take your hook and separate the eyes to either side of the loom now on the next section we're going to put a holding band make it a triangle with a single doubled and we're going to do this twice so just take a single double, place on the third pegs going down, make a triangle and we're going to do another one to go right on top. Single doubled, make a triangle on top. Now we're going to do his nose. So for his nose I'm going to use orange color bands. We're going to need three. You're going to take a single orange and wrap this around your hook four times. One, two, three, and four. Take another one and repeat. Wrap it around four times. One, two, three, and four. So you should see eight loops around your hook. Grab a single orange, double it, attach to your hook, support with your finger, and you want to pinch the bands and slide them on. I'm just doing one at a time. Grabbing both ends, attach to your hook, and now grab a single skin color band, attach to your hook, support with your finger, grab the nose band, and we're going to attach this to the third pegs going down, on the left to the right. Push your bands down. My nose band is overlapping, so I'm just going to fix. Now, on the fourth pegs going down, we're going to take a single skin color, double it, and make a triangle, and we're going to repeat it with another band. Make a triangle. Again, single, doubled, and place on top. Push your bands down. 
Now on the fifth pegs, we're going to do the same thing as we did here. Single, doubled, make a triangle, and then repeat. Again, go on top. Push your bands down. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take our shirt color for his collar and we're going to take double bands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them on first and then I'm going to put a single doubled right on top making a triangle. So what you want to do is you're going to count down one, two, three, four, five, and your sixth peg going down on the left. Take double shirt color bands, six peg, and you want to bring it down to your seventh peg going down, so just where the black meets. Taking double bands of your shirt color, you're going to go from the center up to the right. So now what we're going to do is take a single black, we're going to wrap it around our seventh peg going down, we're going to just do like a cap band three times. So just count down, so this is where our teal is meeting our black. Take a single black and go around three times. One two, and three. Push down. Now we need the holding band in a triangle, single doubled on our six pegs going down. I'm sorry if I'm going slow, it's I don't want you to place your bands on the wrong pegs. Push your bands down. This is what you should have so far. Now switching to our white color bands, we're going to double a single band and we're going to start putting our triangles upside down. So I have just a simple idea because I feel like I hope I don't lose you guys to how I'm explaining. This is what, <laughs> this is what I'm copying. Yes, I put my layouts on Loom and then I loop it up after and Good to go. Have another one. So you can see that I'm going to start to place my triangles upside down. And this one is going to be in the normal direction. So take a single, we're going to double it, and we're going to go upside down just as I did on this one. Taking another single, we're going to double it and we're going to place it upside down. Again, single, doubled white band, make a holding band upside down. Again, single, doubled, and make a holding band upside down. One more time, upside down, single white, double, making an upside down triangle. Now you can see with this one, the second last one to the bottom, we are overlapped these two triangles. So take a single, overlap, and now take a single, double it, and we are going to make that triangle, but we're going to bring this end over the pegs. So I just use my hook, sorry, I just use my hook, grab the ends, and bring it over. So now they look identical. Now I'm going to grab our shoes because that's what I have last on the hook and I'm going to attach one on either side. So I'm just going to push these bands down and I'm going to slide one of the legs onto the left side making sure that all the loops are around the peg. Grabbing the next leg, slide it on, and now we are going to attach the arms to the peg below the teal color, our shirt color. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, and our seventh peg going down is where I'm going to attach one of the arms.
and on the opposite side, slide all the bands around. So please check this over. This is what you should have. Now I'm going to start to loop up. I'm going to loop up the shirt area and what I'm going to do is in this area you're going to need five white bands and a single black band. So I'm going to try to do this <laughs> without confusing you. I'm going to take a single white band and I'm going to wrap this around my hook three times. One, two, and three. So you have three loops. I'm going to reach in at the bottom on the right first and I'm going to loop up these double white bands and slide this band on before making the teardrop. I'm going to repeat that in the middle and on the left. So just move it up the band. You're going to reach in moving your leg part out of the way and this holding part out of the way and just going to the bottom to grab your bottom two bands. If you have a hard time just push your bands down so you can see them. Reach in, grabbing the bottom two, go up and slide on and then make that teardrop. We're going to do this again. Take a single white, wrap it around your hook three times. One, two and three and I'm going to do the middle. So at the bottom grab your double white bands, bring it up, slide on and then make that teardrop. Now for the left side, single white, go around three times. One, two and three. Push up, reach in, moving the leg out of the way, the holding band out of the way and grab your bottom two white bands. Just go around from the left to the right and slide on and then make that teardrop. Now I'm going to loop on the right and I'm going to do two, one section. This section I'm going to loop another single white band on. So just take a single white and go around your hook three times. This will be for this pocket area. One, two, and three. So let me just think for a second. Um, it has to be three up. So one, two, and three. So I'm going to loop up this section and then I'm going to slide it on to this one. So we've done the first white. Now reach in, do another one, move the holding band out of the way, grab the bottom two, go up. So this was one, two, and on the third one we are sliding this band on. So this one. So reach up, slide your band on. Let's do this on the left. We're going to take a single white and wrap it around our hook three times. One, two, and three. Reach in, grab your bottom two, move that holding band out of the way, go up one, and now this one we're going to slide our band on. Now I'm going to loop up to the arm. When you get to the arm, you're going to do one more. So I'm going to go right up to our shirt collar area. So on the right, go up, go to the arm, move the arm out of the way, the holding band out of the way, and grab your bottom two white bands and go up. So now you should be here, which is from counting from the top, one, two, three, four, five, and your six peg going down, where our white meets the skin. Let's repeat on the left. So where you left off on the left, go up, to the arm, and go up one more time. Go around if you're having a hard time, if it's tight, go around your peg from the left to the right and go up. Now we're going to do in the middle. So we've done one section. Now move your holding band out of the way, grabbing your bottom two. 
Move the holding band out of the way and we're going to stop at the black. And stop. In this middle area you're going to reach in and grab your top two bands which is that band that's stretched from the center all the way up to that right and up to the shirt collar area. Reach in grabbing the next two the double white bands and go up on the left reach back in in this middle you want to move this holding band out of the way and grab your bottom two black bands and we're actually sorry we're just going to stop here for a second we want to slide a single black band on my apologies grab a single and we're going to wrap this around our hook three times one two and three move it up and we're going to slide on so grab your bottom two black bands, bring them up, slide on, and make a teardrop. Now you want to reach in in this middle and you want to grab your top two shirt collar areas, bands, so they're going from the center up to the right. So you want to move that holding band out of the way, you want to move that cap band out of the way, and grab your top two, go around your peg, and I grabbed one from the left and one from the right, sorry. Reach back in. Sorry about that. They must have been overlapping. Now reach back in and you're going to grab your double skin color bands go up one and you're going to go up all the way to where your black and your red meet for the mouth and you're going to stop there what i'm going to do now is just push the bands down so before i continue what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove part of the bottom portion off the loom I need to make his mouth area and I need to build it in this bottom part. So just remove, I'm going to use my hook, I'm going to do the right side and I'm going to go just right below where the arms are. And the left, and the middle. So I'm just at the pegs below the arms. To do the mouth, what we're going to do is I just need a small area and some bands. So grabbing double of your face color, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a middle peg and I'm just going to take double bands and I'm going to go up to the left. I'm going to take double bands and I'm going to go from the center up to the right. Push your bands down in the middle. Taking double bands, I'm just going to go from the center up to the middle. Taking a single band, the skin color, you're going to wrap it around the end in the middle three times. One, two, and three. Grab your hook and we're ready to loop. You want to reach in at the bottom, moving the cap bands out of the way, or that single cap band and grab your top two bands which are going up to the center. You might want to hold your cap band down and go up. Reach back in grabbing your next two and they're going up to the right. Reach back in grabbing your next two and they're going up to the left. We're ready to remove off the loom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the right first, remove it, then the middle and then the left. So just bring your hook in Remove the bands in the center and on the left. So this is what you should have on your hook. Now you have 12 loops around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four loops 
and I'm going to attach them to this peg, which is counting from the top, one, two, three, four, and your fifth. I'm going to take the first four loops, attach it to my fifth peg on the left, my next four loops I'm going to attach on the fifth peg in the center, and my next four loops I'm going to attach on the right. To do this, you're just going to take the first four loops and slide it around, remove your hook ever so carefully, making sure all the loops are around, push down. Grabbing the next four, you're going to slide around the middle, move your hook ever so carefully, push the bands down. Now take the last four loops and attach on the fifth, uh, fifth peg going down on the right. That's what it should look like. Now we need to continue looping. So I'm at the collar area, which is our sixth peg going down. And to do this, you're going to have a lot of bands here. So I don't want you to break your bands at this point. You just take your hook, move the bands around. You're going to reach in for your bottom two skin color bands and you're going to lift up and you're going to take the bands and go around your peg from the left to the right, slide around and then go up. Now reach back in on the left and you want to loop up all the way to the top. So reach in moving these bands around, grab your bottom two bands and again slide around the peg so it doesn't break. Move that holding band out of the way and go up. Continue sliding around because the double holding bands are there, it's going to make it tight. Reach in, slide around and go up. Reach in for the bottom orange color band, slide around and go up. Now in the hair area, you don't want to loop on top of one of the hair pieces, so just move them out of the way. Reach in, moving that single band that we cross from left to right out of the way and just go up to the center. We're going to repeat this on the right. So your sixth peg going down. Take your hook, move the bands around to loosen up some of the tension. There are a lot of bands, so lift up, go around, and go up. Move the bands out of the way, slide around, and up. Reach in, moving that holding band out of the way, slide around, and up. Moving all those bands out of the way, grabbing your bottom two, slide around, and up. Move the bands out of the way, grabbing your bottom two orange, and go up. One more section. Just moving the hair pieces out of the way. We'll fix that at the end. Now we need to do the middle. So we're at the fifth peg going down. You're going to reach in in the middle and grab your red and your black bands. Continue going up. I'm just going to stretch this band around the nose and bring the nose through. Reach in at your third peg going down, moving the hair out of the way, grabbing the orange, and I just don't want to catch one of the loops around the peg, one of these hair bands. So now that we finished looping everything, we're going to take a single orange band, the color of the hair, and we're going to do a slip knot at the top. So reach in with your hook at the top center, grabbing that single, bring it through, grabbing both ends, and doing a slip knot. Bring it around and give it a pull. I'm going to use my hook now to remove the body and I'm going to do the right side and then the left. The middle.
and this is what you should have. So I'm going to show you how to fix now. The first thing that I'm going to do is fix his shoe area. And to do this, I'm going to do one and you're going to do the other. So you're going to pause the video to do the other. So with my hook, what I'm going to do is bring two of these red bands to the other side of the leg. It doesn't matter which one you grab. I'm just going to grab the closest to the bottom of his shoe, give it a little stretch with my hook, and bring it around to the other side. I'm going to grab another single red, give it a stretch, and bring it around. So just bringing the shoe through the band. So this will be his sock area. I'm going to do it to the band above the red, grabbing a single, giving it a stretch, and bringing it to the other side. Grabbing another one, and then just give it a pull. That's what it should look like. I'm going to do the arm. So I'm going to grab his shirt color, a single band, give it a stretch, and bring it to the other side of his hand. So it should be below the white bands. Grabbing another one, give it a stretch, and bring it to the other side. And just fixing. Making sure everything is flat. And now pause the video to fix the other leg and the other arm. Now we're going to fix his face. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to go through the neck area. So just go from one end, just slide between to the other end and just give it a little bit of a turn. Removing my hook. I'm going to find the eyes. I have one in the front and one in the back. So I'm just going to bring one of the eye, the other eye through. And now I'm just going to fix them to how I want them to look. And then you can just play around with them. Just going to fix the nose up a bit because the bands are all twisted. So I'm just going to use my fingers, fix them up, fix the tension. Some are tight, some are loose. And bring it to the front there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find his mouth area. So my mouth, I'm just going to pull this part, bring it to the front going to take my hook and I'm going to take that red and that black band and I'm just going to bring it towards the front a bit and fix the mouth. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these loops to the top part of the head. So I'm just going to take my hook and I'm just going to go through like a single band and I just want to bring some of these hair pieces to the top. I'm not going to bring them all through the same band. So I'm just going to find another band and grab and just bring it through. And keep just grabbing a single band that we placed on the peg and bring one of those hair pieces through. So they're kind of all in the top area. Grabbing another band. So I am just going through these bands here that we looped up. So just finding one of them. Go 
going through another one. I'm just going to keep on doing that to grab this last one that's down here. And now with scissors, I'm just going to cut these end pieces. I'm just trying to hide the slip knots. And if they're curling down towards the end, you just take your fingers and give it a little turn and then they'll go to the direction you want. So if I turn this one, it's going to go down. Use my fingers, just give it a twist. And now you just cut them to your desired length. What you don't want to do is actually cut your slip knot band. So that's the one that I'm going to find first actually, because we don't want to cut that. We don't want our figure to fall apart. So here's my slip knot band. So I'm just going to take that and hide that. So I'm just going to go through the middle of his head, grab that band and just bring it down. The whole thing might just fall apart. And then you can just cut to the length you want. A little haircut. Now with your hook, what you're going to do is you're going to reach in and grab the shirt color bands. So you should have four loops. So right now I only see two. So you just want to reach in and find the four like this and just give it a little tug towards the front. On the other side, you only want to grab the shirt color and bring it a little tug to the front. Now you'll have these white bands that are right below the shirt collar part. You'll have four. You want to find them and bring them towards the front. This is the collar part to his jacket. Grab the four. And bring it towards the front. Now on the sides you'll have the four. Just bring it to the front a little bit going down and now where your shirt collar meets your black you're gonna have to reach in and find that single black band that we gave a little cap band right there at the end just want to reach in find it for the top part of his tie you can fix that up a bit and now the bands that we stretched from the center up to the right, just give it a tiny stretch on the left. And at the end here, we slid a black band around when we are looping up. You just want to reach in and find that. So this is what will cover that white holding band. And now all you have to do is just fix those bands that we slid on, the white area at the bottom, on the middle, the left, and then just place nicely the pockets. And he's done. I hope you enjoyed Looming with Cheryl. Please subscribe down below. I have a lot more designs to load and I will see you next time with another. Oh, one more thing, you could actually just bend the feet forward with your hook or with your hands. So just going through the, uh, the brown bands and just bring them towards the front.